Hey there, thanks for checking in. My name is Evan Mazunik, and you're watching another Sound Painting Saturday. So today I really want to keep you in the loop on uh, another meeting I had with Walter where we got to geek out just a bit more and give you quickly a couple little tidbits you can go and try out and see what you think. They're hot off the presses. I haven't even had a chance to try them out with Zaha yet, so but I look forward to doing so very soon. And it's continuing this idea of using gestures that are already in the language, but stitching them together in new ways to create new phrases. This idea of phrases is really fascinating to me. So, simply put, there are two ideas. The first one today is just the break ladder. Simply put, I could go whole group break ladder with woodwinds, for instance. And that would indicate that as I step in the box, launch a ladder, the woodwinds respond to this ladder, and then the rest of the group temporarily cuts off, and then I do what I want, stay in the box, compose with the saxophones, and then step out of the box, and the whole group goes back to whatever, whatever was happening before. So it's a break ladder. The second idea is this idea of some type of surprise, silent position. Or really for a dancer, I envision this for movement, stillness. So the idea is you have a surprise point of stillness somewhere in the stage. You could place the position wherever you want. You could have it be open. You could have it be, have them change. You could have a lot of different variations on this, but I love this idea of a real surprise, uh, almost soft spot in the room, as if you don't know where all of a sudden this movement's gonna go and just disappear to stillness or to whatever your neutral is. So I would default your neutral. I would default how long you stay in silence when you go to that. You could also work with it, working with it individually or collectively. I like those concepts. And uh, see what happens. Try a ton of different uh, variations. I know some of you are really interested in working in move, movement and working with dancers. So I thought those two would be really, really powerful to share. And uh, one other thing, I really, really enjoyed checking out the talk with Butch Morris and Walter Thompson. Uh, they did record it. It is available, but you have to go on site to Columbia to check out and listen to the recording of that lecture and that discussion um, because it's non-circulating, that interview. So it's available, but next time you're in the Columbia area, check it out. I'd highly recommend it. A lot of great things. Um, too many to get into today, but I just wanted to leave you with those two tidbits, and I will see you next week.